Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel IT Planet. If this video is helpful to you, then don't forget to hit like button and subscribe the channel IT Planet. In this video, we are going to see the exercise solution of class 8, chapter number 7, HTML5 for multimedia and CSS. In that first question, take the correct answers. So here are the correct answers in the green color. Let's read them. Form provides an easy way to collect required information from web page visitors. Radio control limits the web page visitor to only one choice from a list of choices. Submit button is used to send the information entered in the form of the web server. To add media to a website, SRC attribute is used to identify the media source. Number 5. An internal style sheet is used. Internal style sheet is used to define a style for a single HTML page. So these are the answers of take the correct answer. Question number two. Right true false. First statement, a text control creates a text box that is used for a single line of input. Yes, this statement is true. A password text box displays the characters entered by a user as asterisk star. This is true. The reset button sends the information to the appropriate location for processing. This statement is false. By adding multimedia, website messages get enhanced. This is true, true statement. External style sheets define formatting and layout instructions. This is again false statement. Let's see fill in the blanks. The reset button is used to clear the already entered data in a form. The answer is reset. Second, autoplay control attribute is used to play the media when the web browser is displayed. The answer is autoplay. Loop attribute is used to replay the file once it is finished. Number four, inline style sheet is used to apply a unique style to a single HTML element. Number five, the link tag is used for linking current document to multiple documents. Yes, the answer is link. Next question, question number D, define the following. This must be E, I think. Define the following that first is text box. We can create a text box that allows readers to enter a line of text. Text boxes are normally used for entering names and addresses. Next number two is password box. We can create a password box that allows readers to enter confidential or secret information such as credit card number or passwords. Question number E is differentiated between the following. First is checkboxes. We can include checkboxes in a form if we want visitors to select one or more options. While creating checkboxes, we need to specify name attribute, value attribute and the text that appears beside each checkbox. Then radio buttons. We can include radio buttons in a form if we want visitor, visitors to select only one of the several options. While creating radio buttons, we need to specify name attribute, value attribute and the text that appears beside each radio button. So this is the difference between checkboxes and radio buttons. Let's see the difference between internal style sheet and external style sheet. An internal style sheet is used to define a style for a single HTML page. 
we can create an internal style sheet that resides within the tags of your HTML5 document. External style sheet. We can use an external style sheet to define formatting and layout instructions and then link it to more than one HTML document. Question number F. Answer in one, two sentences. What is the use of a form in HTML? We can use forms to collect information from the people who visit our website. Forms provide an easy way to collect re required information. Question number two, name the various input controls of a form. Various input controls of a form are data input control, text input control, text control, password control, radio control, checkbox control, select control and text area control. Question number three, why do we add multimedia in web pages? We can incorporate multimedia elements into our HTML pages to illustrate a product or a service or simply for aesthetic purpose. Question number four, what is the use of div tag? With div tag, we can group a large section of HTML elements together and format them with CSS. The div tag also allows us to define characteristics for several types of elements at once. So friends, please like and share the video and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe the channel IT Planet. Here on this channel, you will get question answers of your all computer exercises. So question number G, that is answer briefly. What are the uses of submit and reset button in the form? We can create a submit button that visitors can click to send the information they entered in the form to our web server or our email. We can create a reset button that visitors can click to clear the information they have entered in our form. Question number two. Which attributes are used to control audio and video tags? The HTML5 audio and video tags can have a number of attributes to control the look and feel. Attri these are the attributes and these are this is the description. So attribute first, first attribute autoplay. Place the radio or video file automatically when the web page is loaded. Controls display the controls on the web page. SRC specifies the height of the video player displayed on the web page. Loop. Replace the file in loop once it is finished. Height. Specifies the height of the video player displayed on the web page. Width. Specifies the width of the video player displayed on the web page. And question number three. What are the benefits of using CSS with HTML document? With large website, it is better to use cascading style sheets to change the style of the web page elements. With cascading style sheets or CSS, we write code that allows us to control an element within a single web page or throughout an entire website. We can use style sheet to change the look of any web page element such as paragraphs, list, backgrounds and more. The last question that is application based question. Abhinav has been asked to create a HTML form in HTML to get feedback form feedback from the users feedback from the users about the web page created by him. The feedback should be based on four choices: excellent, good, average, and poor. Which control, radio control, or checkbox control should he use in his form and why? So, answer is Abhino should use radio control in his form because the visitor is expected to choose one option from a list of choices. So, this is the exercise solution. 
of class 8 chapter 7 and 